me. You startled me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, that's okay. <clears throat> What's well, good to see you? Was the trip to Copenhagen successful? Yes, very. Look, I was just about to leave. Do you want to go out and get a cup of coffee? Uh, no, thank you. Actually, I'd like to stay here and talk to you. I have something rather important I'd like to discuss with you. What is it, Stephanie? You're aware of the fiasco that happened at the Queen Mary? Yes, my sister just stopped in. She showed me that picture in the paper. It's terrible. Brooke, you never told me or any member of the family that your sister was working for Spectra. I just found out myself today. Really? She kept it from me for obvious reasons. Oh. But I just can't figure out why Ridge didn't say anything about the Queen Mary this morning when I saw him at Forrester. You were at Forrester this morning? I didn't see you. Well, I played a little trick on him in the steam room. You certainly know your way in and out of that building, don't you? For what it's worth, I think I know my way around better than the employees. I'm sure. Stephanie, you said that you had something to discuss with me. Someone stole Margot's original design. Someone that is connected to Spectra and to Forrester. There aren't very many people that fit that description. I think you're one of them. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're suggesting that I might have something to do with this mess? Let's call this a process of elimination. I don't think I'm hearing you right. Well, your sister works at Spectra. You just told me that you know your way in and out of the Forrester building better than I do, so... So I stole the design and gave it to Donna. If we had a private investigator working, they probably would come up with that conclusion. Well, I didn't, Stephanie. Like I told you, I didn't even know Donna was working at Spectra until an hour ago. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. You don't believe me. What I believe is that my family has suffered an enormous embarrassment. And it is adversely going to affect our business. A business that Eric and I have spent our lives building up. What do you think I'm going to do? Nothing? Stephanie, I understand your concerns. But I need you to believe me when I say that I would never do anything to hurt your family. <sighs> you know, this really isn't. Well, it isn't fair what happened on the Queen Mary, either. No, I'm sure it isn't. But I'm not at fault. I think you should go talk to Mrs. Spectra. She's the one who's responsible. Sally Spectra is a thief, pure and simple. And as far as I'm concerned, anyone that would work for her, and that includes your sister, is a person of low morals and certainly no ethics. You know, you will do anything to get at me. You will use every weapon, even my little sister. What I'm determined to get at is the bottom of this, and I'm going to leave no stone unturned. Now, if you weren't so defensive, and you were a little more cooperative, you wouldn't look so suspicious. I'm defensive because I keep trying to do everything to please you, and you just keep throwing it right back in my face. Do you think I have no sense of right or wrong? No sense of morality? Is that what you think of me, Stephanie? I think you're an uninvited guest in my life. You met my son, you seduced him, and you took him away from a woman he was in love with and was going to marry. You take every opportunity that is presented to you to insinuate yourself into my family. You're manipulative. You are the supreme opportunist. I say it with no malice. It's just the way you are. Well, that certainly seems to fit the description of whoever stole that design. You seduced him, and you took him away from a woman he was in love with and was going to marry. You take every opportunity that is presented to you to insinuate yourself into my family. You're manipulative. You are the supreme opportunist. I say it with no malice. It's just the way you are. Well, that certainly seems to fit the description of whoever stole that design. I couldn't have said it better myself.
Could you have been down there more recently? Let's say one night with Brooke? Why would I go down there at night? Or at all for that matter? Are you suggesting what I think you are? Someone has stolen an original design from Forrester and either given it or sold it to Spectra. Now, before you become insulted by the implications of what I'm saying, let me ask you something. If you were me, what would you do? Wouldn't you ask questions? I think it's going to turn out to be someone who has a connection at both Forrester and Spectra. You and Brooke fit the bill. That's why you appear suspicious. Now, can you prove to me that you and Brooke have had absolutely nothing to do with this? No, I can't. And if I could, I still wouldn't. Now, Mrs. Forrester, would you please leave my home? And if you ever come back, I would like an apology. I catch you at a bad time. No, no, no. Actually, I was on my way out, but please, come on in. I called from my car to the office, and they said Caroline had called and wanted to talk to me, so I was just around the corner, and I took the chance that she might be home. Uh, no, actually, she's not back from work yet. Oh, well, is it all right if I stay and wait for her? Absolutely. Come on in. You know, I had made plans for this evening, but uh, it just didn't pan out. How's everything going? What, with uh, Margot? And Caroline. Now sit down. Listen, I, uh, I'm as disappointed with Thorne and Caroline's breaking up as I'm sure you are. I don't suppose you really think there's a chance that this is just a trial separation? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't think so either. You know, actually, it's a tragedy. I really thought that Thorne and Caroline were perfectly matched and... Apparently, I was wrong. The tragedy is that it could have worked. I honestly believe that. Well, I'm sure this doesn't please Thorne very much. No, it didn't happen in what we would call an opportune time. What do you mean? Oh, he didn't need it to have it happen now. Especially... Especially what? If Ridge and Caroline become involved. Does she say anything about him? Only that Ridge isn't the reason that she was getting a divorce. And do you believe her? My daughter never lies to me, Stephanie. Well, let's hope that this isn't going to be the first time, then. As I would imagine, it wouldn't sit well with Thorne if Caroline were to start seeing Ridge. Oh, I think it would have dire consequences beyond what you could imagine. Suffice to say, I honestly think my family would cease to function as a family if Ridge and Caroline were involved and Thorne found out about it. I just can't let that happen. Not ever. <laughs> 